I was very pleased to see so many people come out on this dreadful rainy night in January because they're very impassioned about wanting to prevent cancer in their own lives. You know what I saying? came from Eastern Long Island to listen to this talk because she had so much courage to write this book and it was wonderful discussion. She allowed for lots of questions and responded to each person in such a compassionate, caring way. Information that is vital to get the word out to, for prevention for the future. I have a personal tragedy when my wife passed away from cancer about a year and a half ago and it was undetected and I believe that this book is the beginning of trying to find a, uh, not so much a cure, but a preventative cancer and put the money where it should go. Uh, I'm recommending everybody read a book uh, and, and speak up. You know, this book, A World Without Cancer, is my personal journey with cancer as a doctor experiencing cancer's horrific effects on the lives of my own family, friends, and patients. And so it was important to me, uh, and it became a personal mission. It's urgent and personal because I feel that no more time should be wasted in preventing cancer. Which is fabulous. Uh, I enjoy coming to Hoover because every time I come, there's something to be learned. and I. I, I, I advocate everybody to come here and listen to all the lectures, get the books, because it's, it's almost like being in college again, and that's what it's so great about. Let me be clear, it is time to transform the cancer culture as we know it. Everyone who is diagnosed and treated with cancer has a unique story, yet their journeys are also alike in many ways, with a painful and arduous course of treatment almost guaranteed. Together, we can change that, but only if we can first agree not to be shackled by the status quo. Why have we settled for a medical system that allows cancer to be recast as a chronic intolerable disease rather than one we should try to prevent? Why do so many scientists at the nation's drug companies and universities turn their backs on the possibility of prevention? How can we transform the agenda? Dozens of conversations with some of the nation's most accomplished and respected physicians and cancer researchers have confirmed my belief that while we may never be able to cure cancers, once they take hold, we can find ways to prevent cancer altogether, to eradicate it just as we have virtually wiped out devastating diseases like smallpox and polio.